Hello guys, welcome to my channel Raul Automation Studio. So in this video, I'm going to explain you about the log 4J. So in our project, we have to add the logger for the debugging purpose. It is very helpful. So we are going to add for the logging purpose as a log 4J file. So to configure and to add the log 4J in your project, first of all, we have to add the dependency for the log 4J. So just go on Google and search as a log 4J Maven dependencies and you will find a link on the Maven repository for the log 4J file. So just add, copy this code for dependency and add in your form.xml file. Once you are adding, just click on save button and to download this jar file from the Maven repository, you have to go to form.xml file, right click on it, just go to the Maven and reload the project. Once you will click on reload the project, it will automatically download this log4j file into your external library. If you will see this jar file, it has been automatically downloaded in your external libraries. So now you are ready to use the functions for the log4j file. So to add and to configure log4j file, it is always suitable that you add the configuration in a XML file. So if you want to show our log in the console while execution and also we can add the log in a text file so that configuration we are going to do in a xml file so i have already done that so this is a file for log 4j we will be adding it in our resources folder let's create a one folder Under the test folder, we are going to create and we have to add log4j.xml file. Once you will see, come to the project under the SRC folder, under test resources folder we have created. And now it is having log4j.xml file. Let's open this file. So once you open this XML file, you can see we have this appender. So this appender is basically for to append your log on particular file or on the console. So this appender, you can see the name is a console. So it is going to add the log in a particular console, right? And the name we have given. So it is having this particular layout and uh, the parameter we are passing is the conversion parameter and value is having this type of format it is going to take while displaying the log in your console. So in the same way, we can add the log in a particular .txt file so that it will be very helpful for us uh, if the test case get failed for you and you want to debug the test case with the help of the logger. So in the same way, we are adding the appender uh, for the file. So name is having file and this is the class for it. And what different parameters that we're going to add for this particular file, append, as a false, so it is not going to append uh, all the logs in the same text file. Like uh, for the different test, it will be the different. The maximum file size is 10 MB. We are defining maximum backup index is 10, and where this file will get created. So we are giving the name as a file, and the file will get created under the resources folder and under a logs with the name of app log text. So it is going to create with this name. And it is also having the layout with the date format. And there is one more attribute that is a root HTML root. And in the root, you can see the value we are defining as a debug. And we are appending this two. Uh, so we have created a two appender, right? One is for the console and another is for the file. So these two appenders we are adding as a reference in the root. So these two both will be configured with it. So in that way, you can add uh, uh, this dot uh, XML file in a system. Now let's create a one simple Java class under the Java folder. Let's give a name like capability base class. So we are going to create a class. Under this class, we are going to use as a static logger. So for log, which logger we are going to use from here? Apache dot log 4j. We have to create a variable name as a log. Now logger dot 
get logger get logger is having a string also as a class we are we have to take as a class one so how you can take the class name capability base class dot there are options like this super and new we are going to use as a class dot get name so this will give the pass the uh, class name in the logger and it will start adding the log for that particular class file the next we are going to create a main method public static void main so why we are creating a main method we are creating a main method because still we have not implemented the test ng in our project so directly we will call this main method as a java from the java class string array args right so now the xml that we have created but we have to load this xml into the class right only after that the uh, it will start uh, properties of this particular dot xml file so for that we have to write dom configurator dot configurator dot configure we have to pass the file name so where is our file so our file is log 4 xml right click on it copy path and reference just copy the absolute path paste it here so this is the path from where it will load this particular configuration file for you now it is configured the log 4 j now you can start adding the log in your test cases and the same will display in your file as well as in the console so how you can add it just log dot you there are different methods that i have provide info warn error and fatal trace so let's start adding with the info so the message that you want to display on the console that message you can exactly write here like selenium practice right so in the same way you can add the different methods for the log info is basically for the information purpose if it is a failure so in that case you can use as an error right so in the same way log dot warn if you want to display any warning in that case you can use as a warn so there are different methods that they have provided in the log and you can use as per your requirement now let's run this test case and see the console So it is building the project and once it will be complete, it will start the execution for your test case. So now you can see the on the console uh, for the low 4 j it is uh, having displaying all the properties and whatever the information in the log that you have added, it is displaying on your console. It is having this class that we have added the class name and it is an info, it is an error, and it is a warning. So that message it is displaying for you. And if you see under these logs, so it will automatically create logs folder for you. And this is a text file that we have created for our debugging purpose. And the same information is getting stored in a text file for you. And that will be very helpful for you while debugging the test case. So that's how you can configure the logger and log4j in your project and it's very helpful uh, while working in a project under the company. So thank you guys. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you all. Bye.